Hello everyone, myself, Paula Mokwana, Assistant Professor of EC Department at LJ Engineering and Gaming Technology. Welcome to the session of Senate Communication. In the previous session, we have finished unit number one. In today's session, we are going to start unit number two, that is orbits and launching method. In the last session, we have finished what is orbit and what are the types of orbit. So in today's session, we cover the different definition of terms for Earth orbiting satellite and orbital elements. Now, the first topic that is a definition of terms for Earth orbiting satellite is governing a Kepler's law. The Kepler's law which is going to be applied in general to the satellite motion because the satellite will follow a specific law to move around the earth or you can say that a satellite is secondary body, earth is the primary body. Alright, so for the particular case of earth orbiting satellite, there are certain terms which are used to describe the position of the orbit with respect to the earth. What are that definition? First is sub satellite path. Now, what do you mean by sub satellite point? As this is my satellite and this is the surface of the earth. So the vertical projection of satellite onto the surface of earth, that point is known as the sub satellite point. Alright? Second. Apogee. From, from this diagram, we can say what do we mean by apogee and perigee. So this is our earth. This vertical line is called the equator and this is the elliptical orbit in which we are able to find the two points. The one point which is farthest from the surface of the earth and another one that is the nearest point. So the nearest point is known as the perigee and the farthest point which is known as the apogee. So the point which is farthest from the earth is called apogee and nearest to the earth is called the perigee. Right? So what is line of epsides? So the line join apogee and the perigee is called line of epside. But it must include the center of the earth, this one. Fifth one, what is ascending node? Ascending node means the point where the orbit crosses the equatorial plane going from south to north. This one, ascending node. So the point which cross the equatorial plane from south, this is the south pole, to north is called ascending and the reverse is called descending. The point where the orbit crosses the equatorial plane from north to south. So what is line of nodes? Line of node is the line joining ascending node and the descending node through the center of the earth is called line of nodes. The difference between line of nodes and the line of epside is line of epside include the apogee and the perigee point. Right? Line of nodes includes ascending and the descending node. So line joining between these two is called line of nodes. And the line joining between apogee and perigee is called line of epside. What is inclination angle? The inclination means the angle between the orbital plane and the Earth's equatorial plane is called the inclination angle. Ninth, what is prograde orbit? 
so it is the orbit in which a satellite moves in the same direction as the earth rotates that is called the total orbit and retrograde means the orbit in which a satellite moves in a anti clockwise direction to the earth's rotation is called the retrograde orbit from this image you are able to see this is the retrograde orbit because it moves in the same direction as the earth rotates and in retrograde it moves in the anti clockwise direction with the earth rotates right this is the most important definition that is the argument of parity now what is argument of parity it is the angle from the ascending node which is measured in the orbital plane to the direction of satellite motion at earth center so this angle is known as the argument of parity which is so shown over here like a small w or we can say that omega definition number 12 that is mean anomaly so what is mean anomaly this mean anomaly gives an average value of angular position of the satellite with reference to the perigee and the true anomaly is the angle from perigee to the satellite position which is measured at the earth center all right so if the satellite's position is measured with reference to the earth center is called the true anomaly now the last definition is the right ascension of ascending node that means if you want to define completely the position of orbit in space the position of ascending node should be a specified but to define completely the position of orbit in the space we need to fix the position of ascending node so for the practical determination of an orbit the longitude and the time of crossing of ascending node should be frequently used so for the reference we are going to use the line of paris or we can say the first point of paris so what is a right ascension of ascending node the right ascension of ascending node is the angle which is measured in is toward in the equatorial plane to the ascending node is called the right ascension of ascending node all right now what are the orbital elements so there are total 6 orbital elements but the application of this orbiting orbital elements are we need to define at which position orbit lies at which angle my orbit lies so what is a fixed position of my satellite that means for a rotation in the specific orbit all right so for that we need to define the orbital elements so total orbital elements are 6 same as axis eccentricity mean anomaly argument of parity inclination and the right ascension of ascending node we know the definition of all six orbital elements but what is the use of orbital elements so over here the same image of axis and eccentricity will gives you the shape of the orbit how if the value of the eccentricity is equals to 0 my shape of the orbit is circular if it lies between 0 and 1 shape of the orbit will be elliptical all right second the mean anomaly which gives the position of satellite 
in its orbit at reference time. Now, the importance of argument of perigee is it gives the rotation of orbit's perigee point relative to the orbit's line of nodes in the Earth's equatorial plane. In the last one, the inclination and the right ascension of ascending node which relates the orbit, orbital plane's position with respect to the Earth. We know that if this is my Earth and if this is my orbital plane, so the angle between these two is called the inclination angle. So the inclination angle must be measured with respect to the equatorial plane of the Earth. So for the geostationary orbit, the inclination angle will be zero because the geostationary satellite lies on the equatorial plane of the Earth. These are the references which I have used. The reference book of satellite communication that is a Dennis Roddy. And take, I have taken the images from the below. So, over here we have seen the different terms which is related to the Earth orbiting satellite. And these definitions are the important for the examination. But still, if you have any question, you can ask me at any time on my email ID. Till then, thank you for your attention.